Hey YouTubers and fellow toy train lovers. Uh, one of my uh, subscribers suggested that we show some of uh, some of our favorite rolling stock. Well, you got to know I'm going to have weirder rolling stock than anybody else's. Ah, this is my favorite uh piece of rolling stock. It's a unique lines. Tin plate, of course. Uh, made in the 50s. Obviously a cattle car. And I don't think Warner Brothers or Disney cartoons could have done any better with these cows. They are just at extremely animated this is all lithography and this door does not open sorry to move the camera so fast got on a monopod and each cow is very individual different expressions different colors and I'm gonna move this a bit and you'll see that on the end you'll even see him on the end of the car so this is my favorite now we're coming up to some that I have put together myself so you won't you may see other layouts that have them. This was a San Francisco Muni cable car model, a friction car with bell inside, and it uh, perfect for O gauge. It's just the right scale, and of course it's a cable car, and this is at the top 1999 TCA National Convention not focusing very good there we go and since it did not have any passengers on it I thought well it's perfect that they got to get their uh, cable car somewhere so let's say Union Pacific is delivering them. But I know, because I've been to San Fr I lived in San Francisco, that they actually build their own <laughs> right there in the city. And we're going to go down a little further. I'll get these out of the way. And this is one I made. I love seeing my friends circus trains. And you probably saw this out a couple days ago. Uh, you'll notice the reissue of the uh, Lionel 1935 Mickey Mouse train car back there. Uh, and I had this Barnum's animal sitting on the track nearby it. And one day I was walking down the cookie aisle, which you should never do in the grocery store. <laughs> and I thought, you know, I wonder if animal crackers still taste the same. We never call them Barnum's animals. My mother always called them animal crackers. And... So I bought a box and I picked it up and I looked at it and I thought, you know, this is just about the size of my Mark's flat cars. And I've had a few of them that were rusty and pretty, uh, they're actually rolling stock. And so I, re I bought two Barnum's Animals from Safeway 
probably paid a couple of bucks for them. Uh, now you can't get them in the cages. They're, they're free. So they can go out and eat the people. But uh, I wish I'd collected them all when I was younger. I would have a whole circus train. They sell for quite a lot on uh, eBay now. And I bet you I bought this 15 years ago. And it's got some extremely stale cookies inside it. I ate the other one. The uh, contents of the other one. It should have saved the box now that I see how expensive they're going for on eBay. Uh, and of course they weren't all like this. They went back to the 19... Um, probably 1920s or 30s and they had a lot of different editions that came out. So anyway, this is my really expensive, fancy Mark's Circus car. The only one I, Mark's Circus car I have. Now here's a pretty oddball one. And Pull back a little. A very good look at it. It's futuristic. You can see it uh, reminds me of the Jetsons. Uh, you can see this futuristic buildings, rocket ships, space, a um, flying saucer, and then of all things, a steam train. <laughs> And we call them modern marks. These marks mare trains are made around 1999. Uh, they came up with this, and this was for the year two, uh, 2000, obviously. And. Steaming into the 21st century. And it's a 2001 car. So, this, and of course, once again, this is, uh, this does open. Unlike the cattle car, it opens quite quite easily e easier than the Lionel's plastic ones and here we're getting into our six inch this is a Linemar power plant and mobile power unit 7603 And I think this had something to do with going into the 2000s. And they said our computers were all going to shut down and the power was going to shut down. And I just figured I've heard enough of that BS on the news that I just ignored it. Of course, it didn't happen, but it gave me an excuse to make this. And this is actually cardboard inside, but this is supposed to be a generator. And I'm not sure if this came in four wheels. This is an obviously an eight wheel with two trucks. Very colorful. Uh, I can't say enough for Mark's lithography. Old and new. They just it's a, it's outstanding. Now here's one. I saw a friend of mine, Steve Eastman, had had it. It's called a bunny car, bunny bread. And uh, I thought, well, they made it made it up. Well, no, they didn't. Uh, it was 
I'm going to have to excuse me for a some second. There we go. To queue up something on my computer. It's uh, was some a brand that they made did not make on the West Coast, but they made on the East Coast. I do not know if they still make it. I've seen uh, pictures of the factory and the uh, old billboards. And I just think that bunny reminds me of Bugs Bunny. And you'll see it's built in 1998. And once again, all lithography. I do believe these came out in a uh, eight wheel with two trucks. So, I'm going to move the camera a little. And we're getting to the end of all my modern marks. This is a C, R, I, and P, which is Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railroad. And it was Millenni Millennium Recover Authority. And I think it had, it says groceries and sundries. I think it, once, it also refers to the fact that at the turn of the when we went into the 2000s from the 1900s, supposedly our computers were all going to crash and they wouldn't be able to order new groceries. <laughs> but this is supposed to be full of groceries. And I don't think my camera is good enough to so you read these groceries, what they are, but it's a pretty cool car. Once again, love the lith lithography. Uh, this may have come in a uh, two truck. Uh, eight wheel car, I don't know. This, of course, is a four wheel. And last but not least, uh, I found this on eBay. It turns out a member of the Marks Group sold it and he'd gotten it at a yard sale. This little monoplane flat car. Not a Mark's item. This is obviously a Mark's flat car, but I think somebody did a, a magnificent job. And believe it or not, I used to be in the jukebox business. And I also repaired pinballs and arcade games. And these are little pinball rubbers it would uh, go around the pegs. The tires are little pinball rubbers that go against the pegs that you would bounce the ball off of. Somebody had quite an imagination. And they did a really nice job of... Let's see if I can turn this around. Yeah. Of... Uh, building that wing and making the supports and you can see it from the top i love the john deere green the guy painted the um, fly car with and he bought this up in canada and it was only one he's ever seen i was hoping some guy was making a lot of them so different colors so we could collect them and it turns out I think it was some probably some high school kids shop project. But I got it. I'm happy I got it. 
and I love my little airplane. So anyway, these are some of my oddball, I call them, but really beautiful pieces of rolling stock. So, thanks for watching, and once again, this has been a big lizard production, and bye-bye.